Hi there, my Sunday School friends. How's everybody doing today? Wow, so glad you could join us. Let's take a look at our verse, verses. Are we here now? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's our verse for the month. Obey the Lord. Would you say that with me? Obey the Lord, Deuteronomy 27, 10. Now remember, the word Lord is another name for God. That's right. And here's our weekly verse. The Lord hears when I pray to him. Ooh, that should have been capital H, shouldn't it have been? Psalm 4, 3. Let's read this again. The Lord hears when I pray to him. Isn't that so good to know that the Lord hears when we pray to him? God hears every single prayer. Now, do we have to pray in a certain place? No, he hears no matter where we, we are at when we are praying. Let's look at our picture. Oh, what do we have going on here? We have maybe a grandpa reading to the kids and one playing. Would the Lord hear if we pray at the park? Would he? Yes, he would. Oh, what do you think they're talking about? The book says, God's Story for Me Bible. Oh, they're reading stories from the Bible. True stories, right? Oh, isn't that great? And we can pray at the park? Did we say that already? We can pray at the park. Well, let's pray now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day today. We thank you that you hear our prayers. We love you and thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Does anybody know what time it is? That's right, it's singing time. So everybody up, up, up with one song today. That's the same song as last week. Yes, in case you haven't figured it out, we have the same song for the entire month. So we should know it by now, right? I still get mixed up. So if you get mixed up, don't even worry about it. Or you just keep going, right? All right, get your hands up. They're gonna go up. They're gonna go side to side. We're gonna touch the ground. We're gonna jump around. Okay, here we go. Good job. 
When might someone use a thermos like this? Okay, really, I'm not sure it's a thermos, it's a water bottle. But when I go on a long trip, I take a water bottle with me, or you could take a thermos and take some lunch, right? Okay, well, our story today is about someone that made a long trip. Here we go. Our Bible tells us that little Isaac grew and grew. Wasn't he just born last in last week's story? Well, here he is. He is all grown up. There Isaac is. He grew and grew just like you are growing. When Isaac was a man, his father, Abraham, talked to Eleazar, his helper. I want you to go far away to where my relatives live, Abraham told Eleazar. There you will find a woman to be Isaac's wife. God will help you find her. So Eleazar went off to find a wife for Isaac. I'm not even going there. This is not how we do it nowadays, right? Okay, but this is how it was done then. Clop, clop, clop went the camel's feet. After many days, Eleazar came to a well. I have a well. There we go. Here's Eleazar. All right. A well is a deep hole in the ground filled with water. And people had to go to the well to get their water. They didn't go in the kitchen and just turn a faucet. All right, remember, these are Bible times. This well was in the town where Abraham's relatives lived. Eleazar knew that the woman who lived nearby would soon come to fill their pitchers with water. Eleazar waited, and do you know what he did? He prayed. Lord, let the woman that you have chosen for Isaac give me a drink and gladly fill, give my camels a drink too. Ooh, gladly do it. Hmm. When Eleazar saw a pretty young woman, he watched her fill her pitcher with water. Please give me a drink, he asked. Oh, yes, sir, she answered, and I will be glad to give water to your camels, too. First, she gave Eleazar a drink. Then she filled and emptied her pitcher again and again and again until all the camels had enough to drink. And that probably took a lot of water because camels drink a lot. Whew! This must be the woman God has chosen, Eleazar thought. She has done just what I prayed she, was, she would do. Eleazar gave the woman some beautiful gold jewelry. The woman's name was Rebecca. Rebecca took Eleazar to meet her family. Eleazar found out that Rebecca and her family were Abraham's relatives. Eleazar said, may I take Rebecca with me to be Isaac's wife? We'll have to ask Rebecca if she wants to go with you, her family said. They asked Rebecca, will you go with this man? Rebecca answered, I will go. And the very next day, they started on their trip. There they go. They started on the long trip back home to Abraham and Isaac's home. Abraham's helper thanked the Lord many times for helping him to find the right wife for Isaac. Eleazar chose to pray to, for God's help to find a wife for Isaac. God heard Eleazar's prayer and helped him. God wants us to choose to pray to him also. The Bible says, the Lord hears when I pray to him. All right, my Sunday school friends, I hope you will make good choices this week and remember to pray and ask God to help you.
Now remember this week, if you're watching this on the week that I'm making it, it's going to be Thanksgiving week. And we have so many things to be thankful for, don't we? So when you pray, remember to say an extra thanks to God for so many wonderful things that we have. Our moms and dads, our brothers and sisters, our cousins, our pets. All right. Until next time, my friends, remember Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye.